Put her in, Milanese, chickpea fry. My name is John Solomon. I'm a demi chef here at the Bistro on Biltmore State. Behind us is our main kitchen upstairs. Uh, it's an open kitchen. Uh, this is where we produce all the food for the restaurant. I run the, run the line upstairs and oversee all the prep that we need to get ready for the day. And whether it be just like raw carrots or a sauce that needs to be made for the day, we make sure that we get that ready. And then five o'clock, we start service. Making Bermonte. It's just some emulsified butter. So I went to IEP Academy of Culinary Arts. Uh, I graduated in 2009 and I did my internship here. It was a year, year program with a six month internship. Learned a lot and uh, been here ever since. Your heat's a little high, Jess. Let me just turn it down for oh, you. Oh, well, thank you. You have to be very humble in this business. Your way is not always the right way. And you always have to be willing to learn because you're never going to stop learning in this business. Uh, you always have to be on your toes. And you always have to be ready to accept new things and changes because change happens a lot. Communication is huge because if somebody doesn't know what's going on and they don't tell anybody, then it's not going to be good for service. It's going to create a lot of problems in the beginning. For what I do, I run the expo line. I have to make sure everybody is firing food, which is cooking all the food and making sure that it comes to me in a timely fashion. So we all have to stay on board and communicate. Yes, teamwork is one of the most important aspects of my job. If one wheel falls off, it's not going to not gonna work. This is Will. He's one of our prep cooks down here. Is this the white pumpkin? Yeah. Yeah. We got some white pumpkin. We're gonna make a soup out of it. I like the start to finish, just seeing something go from like a raw product or changing it into something really nice and something that somebody can enjoy. My favorite part would have to be working expo. Just the running the kitchen, setting the pace for the whole restaurant. I like to call it controlled chaos. Um, it gets hectic, but, but it's very organized. Excuse me. Some of the skills that would make somebody successful here would be knowing the, the history and trying to put that passion into their job, because that's what I've done. It's really helped me a lot, just knowing that the, the history of the Vanderbilts and how the Cecils have tried to preserve that so much. And I really enjoy that part of it. Trying to bring such an old hospitality feel into the future is, is really nice, and I really love it. I really enjoy it. It's a great place to work.